Good morning, happy Thursday. It is book box day. I'm gonna open up my box and show you guys what I got this month in my Scholastic order. I only had one student order and so I ended up spending uh, like 20 bucks or so so that I didn't have to pay for shipping and I figured I could just buy some books and then I got some books like for free with my uh, points like if so then if you spent 25 then you got like 10 free dollars to spend and I just usually spend that on fr um, not free books of course they're free books um, I usually spend them on dollar books so that they um, I don't know where I was going with that. So that I can get 10 bucks um, with that free money. So, yes. Um, I slept horrible last night. I, well, I didn't really sleep that bad, I guess. I went to bed late because we were watching a show. We were watching Maniac on Netflix, which, um, I don't know how I feel about that show. It's kind of boring, <laughs> to be honest. It's very, very like weird. If you've watched it and you like it, let me know, because I'm not sure if I should continue and finish it or I don't know. So we were watching that last night, and so I ended up going bed, going to bed like later than normal, like by like 40 minutes. And then I went to bed and I was sleeping just fine. And I woke up at like three and I was super, super hot because I get really hot when I sleep. And so we usually have a fan on and the fan wasn't on and I was like, so I went to go turn it on and like I was turning the thing and it wouldn't do anything and Skylar had heard me get up and I was like, um, why did you turn the fan off? And then he's like, no, the power is out. So the power was out last night and so I couldn't turn the fan on and then I was laying there all hot trying to like, you know, cool myself down. I just get hot when I sleep and so if I like wake up for a little bit then I kind of like cool down but um, as I was laying there and I couldn't fall back asleep, it started raining and the window was open, which I like to keep the window open because it's just like nice outside. But the rain just kept me up and I could not fall back asleep. I laid there because we have like a plastic pool right outside of our bedroom window that we use for Axel like during the summertime. It's just like one of those like blue plastic pools. But the the drips of water just kept hitting it, and oh my goodness, I could not fall back asleep. Like you would think, like oh, it's raining, it would be calming while you're sleeping. No, not at all. So that was my night. <laughs> and then I had oh, and then this morning my coffee wasn't ready because I reset my coffee pot, so that was not ready for me. So I'm gonna set this up and show you guys what I got in my Scholastic. I don't even remember what I got. So let's see. So I got, let's see, this is a Ryder Wolfson. Um, this was a pack of two books and they are just like two little chapter books. I've never even heard of this um, like series before. I think I bought it because there was two in there and I love, or I don't, I mean I do too, but I think the kids like when um, these like chapter books have a lot of pictures because it kind of gives them that like, I don't know, I just think it makes it more interesting than just like a book that doesn't have pictures. Uh, I know I personally would think a book is better that has pictures, so I'm sure that they do too. I'll move this up a little bit. Um, and then I got this because it was also just um, a group of two books and I try to find things that I can find for like the most bang for my buck to be honest. Um, and these are Hello Kitty. Um, this one is Ice Skating Fun and Snow Day Hooray. I want to say these was $2, so a dollar a piece, uh, which is pretty good. I figured maybe my girls will like that. And then, oh, it's like a big pack. This is a pack of, oh, it says Perfect for Second Graders pack. Oh, why is this not? Um, so this has The Best Seat in Second Grade, uh, Flat Stanley and the Very Big Cookie, and these are all the I Can Read books, which are good for, um, actually they're pretty good for my kids in general, I would say, yeah. Um, the Best Chef in Second Grade, oh, I know one of my students who's really going to like this. I'll have to show them that. Um, and then Halloween Parade, which came just in time for Halloween, that'll be a cute one to read. And then Amelia Bedelia Bookworm super cute. Um, this is something that my student ordered. 
Um, I also got Shark School, I guess. Squid napped. I don't know. Um, another Humphrey book. I think I have another one of these. This probably is like too difficult for my kids, but I would have a few students who could read it. I did get the dot. I have actually never read this book and everyone always talks about it. Um, and I've never even read it. So I'm gonna have to do something with that with my kids. And wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Harold and the Purple Crayon. This was um, one of the like super cheap books this month. Along with the dot, it was on sale. Because I ordered this right around the time of dot day, I think. Um, Jigsaw Jones Mystery, The Case of the Mummy Mystery. Cute. And then Stink, it says Hamlet and Cheese. I don't know. Um, and then a couple of picture. Why did I order two of these? I wonder if I accidentally ordered two or if they just accidentally put two in there. I feel like they wouldn't accidentally put two of one book in there because they're probably very good about that. Weird. I wonder if I order. I'll have to go back and check. But anyway, I got two of um, Alexander and the Ver and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I have heard of this book, but I don't. I don't know if I've ever read it. Honestly, I hope it's a good one though, because I got two of them. <laughs> and then the last two things I got were um, Duck on a Bike. This one was just another cheap book. I think it was a dollar. Ooh, the pictures are really good in this. They're like super bright and colorful. And then the last one is Dragons Love Tacos. I thought that was super super cute. Um, I've never read this one either. I'm like really bad about picture books, you guys. Like some people are like obsessed with picture books and like um, with their kids or whatever, but I'm just not, I don't know. I've never like had a lot of books or anything for my classroom and I don't, I hate having to spend money on books um, unless I'm like getting like, this was all mostly, I mean, I spent like 20 bucks probably, but um, most of it was like free stuff. I don't know why this keeps adjusting. And then I got Pokemon stickers for ordering. Um, so I need to disperse these to, I guess only my one kid that ordered books. So that is all my stuff. I'm gonna label these with my name and then put them over in our library. I'll probably show them to the kids to get them excited about the new book so they can see what we have. And I might keep aside a couple of these to use as read alouds potentially. Probably the dot I'll probably keep to myself um, but the rest of them I'll probably just put them out in my library um, so yeah that's what I got um, I'm going to get myself ready we have our family fun night tonight so I am gonna be here late I'll probably get home at the same time as normal but I am gonna like be here late it doesn't end until like seven or something like that I think and then um, I'm not gonna be able to go to the gym because it'd be just way too late after that um, I wanted to show you guys though like so I've had like kind of a, just a rough week in general. Just like I feel like there's so much I have going on and it's like stressing me out. But on Sunday, it was, it, it's now October and I decided to reprint my Happy Planner pages. So in September, I went ahead and printed my headings on my Happy Planner and I printed like these lines that have like my recess and stuff like that. So. I only did it for September because I would just whatever so then I figured October I'll just do it like kind of month by month so I made a mistake because I took out all the October pages and the way the happy planner works is like they all are like you know in this little thing and so they kind of sort of like stuck together I think I didn't like separate them and so I stuck them in the printer like that and then the pages were like trying to stick together because of the like binding method that they have and so the first one goes through and it kind of like crumples up my paper a bit it um like you probably can't see this but oh this one you can see it like kind of crumpled up the paper so then I was like man and then I decided to uncrumple it, separate them, and then put it back in. And one of the crumpled pieces straight up just like ripped the paper. And also, I don't even know like where this piece of the paper is in the printer. Like I opened up the printer, I cannot even find this chunk of paper. And I said if this is like any like precursor to how my week is going to look, and clearly it it showed how my week was gonna be. But now, 
I have this one all messed up too for next week. And then I also reprinted this thing because it's stuck because it got all wrinkled up. So I had to reprint it, but now it's on there twice. And then all of this is like, ugh, it's just a mess. And then I gave up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> which was the last one of October. This one looked fine. This one I just gave up on. So we're just gonna hope that November like goes a little bit better when I try to print those then. Like September was perfectly fine. I had no issues. So I don't know, but it's been 11 minutes and I've been talking this entire time and I need to get to work. So I'll catch up with you guys after school today and tell you how my day went. All right, it's the end of the day now. It is 4.50 and I'm actually getting ready to do our family fun night. We went to Starbucks and I got a Starbucks, which I just realized I don't know where that is. <laughs> I think I must have left it in the room up there. I got all my fires out from last year, like my little campfires. I'm doing like a campfire read out thing. And then I need to bring, I have so much cheese in my teeth. I need to bring all of my books up to the room that I'm doing it in. And then everything will be ready and then I get to, tra to transport everything back. But I'm getting my steps in. And these shoes are kind of hurting my feet at this point. Um, which reminds me, I can quickly... Ow, 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 ow. Show you my outfit before I go. Because I don't think I did that this morning, did I? I don't think so. So, I have on this white cream colored little top with... Um, I like kind of covered up the flaps today. This is from Forever 21. I have on, it's pretty old though. I've on my Anna Luisa little necklace. Um, these earrings that are from Bubble Bar from Target. And then this like dusty rose color sweater, which um, I got in my haul at Marshall's um, a couple weeks ago. And then I just have on um, my belt and some jeans and my little booties um, on the bottom. So, super like fallish today. Um, and the weather was like pretty nice today, which was really nice. It was only, it's like in the 70s, and I think it's supposed to be in the 70s like every day for the next week, which is beautiful. So, today was a pretty good day. Um, we got writing done this morning. We did our guided reading. I got to like test a bunch of kids on sight words, which I've been meaning to do. So I spent my guided reading time doing that, which was like very much just needed. And then this afternoon we worked on, oh, actually, okay, I'm gonna show you something. So when I've taught my kids fact families before, I just don't feel like they fully understood it. Like they knew how to fill it out, but they didn't understand like why it worked. So I watched a video and they were showing like the part, part, whole, like, and maybe this is like totally not like new to you guys, but it totally made sense to my kids for them to like visually see it. So they were seeing like five, three, and two, and then like the picture they would show, okay, five, and then three of them are colored in, so it's three plus two equals five. Or two plus three equals five, whatever. But it's the subtraction part that my kids always get messed up on. Like being able to take the whole subtract apart and understanding that it equals that part. They can like do it in a fact family, but I don't think they ever fully like <clears throat> understood why that worked. <clears throat> so it's showing them. So you take your whole, you draw that number, and then you take the part that you know. So three, take those, whoops, take those three away. So five minus three equals the two. Um, and then same if you did it with like the two. So I don't know, my kids seem to like grasp it a lot better this year when I did that versus, I don't know, I feel like in the past I've just been like, fill out the fact family and like I've always been like, oh, fact families are so easy for my kids, but then they always struggle with a missing part when we get to like that portion in math um, because they weren't fully understanding like the relationship between the addition and the subtraction. So <clears throat> that like method seemed to work pretty well. Um, we're obviously still like working on it, but I do think it helped. Um, I'm gonna test my kids possibly tomorrow actually on the fact family chapter or like lesson and see if, um, they passed it or not so we'll kind of see but i don't know i saw that in somewhere and it just kind of like made more sense to me and i feel like it was a good visual for the kids to see so i'm gonna actually end off this vlog here because i'm not gonna like do anything tonight um and then <clears throat> i don't want to have it with the same vlog tomorrow so i'm not gonna go to the gym tonight or anything because this doesn't even end till 
seven and I'm like out of breath right now, but I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day and goodbye. One last thing I forgot to mention. I'm gonna be doing a live stream this weekend on Sunday. Through, say like 3 p.m. Pacific time, so 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you are interested, I'm gonna do like a q and I think if people ask questions, if not, it might just be me sitting by myself and then ending it very quickly. So if you're interested, I will be doing that. I will have like information down below on the time and stuff. Um, but if you're interested, it'll be on Sunday, whatever the date is on Sunday. So 3 p.m. on Sunday. <laughs> Good morning, happy Friday. I'm so excited it's Friday. I have a fun day planned. I'm going to see my best friends. Um, they live like, I don't know, I don't even know how far it is away because I've never been there. Um, but they just moved down like toward the beach and um, we are going, we're all gonna go meet down there so and stay the night at his house. So I'm super, super excited. But I wanted to start the vlog when I was home today because I got my really good box of stuff subscription box for this month and I didn't wanna carry it to school today. But I wanted to show you guys what was in it and then, um, yeah, so, but I just wanted to leave it at home. I didn't wanna bring it to school. So, this I should probably mention what it is so this is a really good box of stuff this is a subscription service it is $29.99 a month um, and it's from a really good stuff um, it comes with stuff for you stuff for your classroom and stuff for your students um, and it just comes with like fun little things and then everything that it comes with that's for your students it comes with 36 of them so you have enough for all your kids, which is really, really nice. Um, and that was it. And then this is not like my subscription, or my goodness, this is not like my coupon code, but I've seen on their Instagram page that they um, have a coupon code for, I think it's box five, box five, and you get your first box for $5. So that's a pretty good um, coupon code. And then I believe if you ordered like still right now you would get this box um which i believe is the november themed box they're always like a month ahead so that you have the stuff to use which like always throws me off but they're always a month ahead um last month they received like halloween stuff so yes i will link them down below and you can check them out and i'm gonna let my dog in before i open this up and let's see what's in there come on oh my goodness I should probably feed him first. Let me go feed him. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this with one hand um, and get through this. This one box is a lot smaller than the September box, like the box itself. So I'm curious to see what's in it. So it first comes with a little thing. I don't really know what this is. Uh, I think it's just talking about the actual box. And then this stuff is looks like paper or like tissue paper, but it always is something that's like useful. You can actually use in your classroom, which is kind of cool. Um, so it looks like this month is grateful and thankful. And inside of it, so I learned in the September box, my October box was like different. I didn't get the subscription box for October. Um, oh my goodness, I mean September, not October. See, I get so thrown off because it's like always a month behind. Um, so it tells you on the back side like what it is. And then this is a, this is the same as like what it was in September. It's a little frame that you could take your student's picture with. You just pop this thing out. So that's pretty cool. And then the back side tells you what's in it. So I see it came with pencils again, which is super cool. I actually used the Apple pencils. We use them for writing. Um, I call them like our writing pencils. I ended up not giving them all to my students. I collect them back, but the pencils were actually very nice because sometimes like the cute pencils like this end up being really crappy pencils to be quite honest but the ones that they sent were actually really good pencils and they stay sharpened they don't just break uh so i will use these ones um actually i probably should sharpen these and use these ones because they're fall and by the time the apple pencils are done they'll like it'll not be fall anymore so it, there should be 36 in here i'm assuming um it's probably three packs of 12, I would imagine. Um, it also came with this little notebook. It looks like it has like stickies. Some of my stickies got messed up, but, um, and it says grateful and thankful. And then it's just like a little notebook. That's kind of cute. This would be nice to take to like staff meetings just to keep like notes in. And this looks like it's the item for you. It's pretty cool. Um, it also comes with, what is this, a notepad? Uh, a 
oh no, they're frames. Oh, I see. This is like a little, um, there's like a line right there that's cut out, and you could stick a kid's picture in that. That's actually really cute. A little frame. I wonder if there's another. No. Oh, that's cute. So this is what it looks like, and then you can put their name on it there. That's cool. Okay. And then it also came with stickers for your kids. This would be cute. We do a um, friendship feast usually. Usually, I can't do like holidays at school, but I can kind of do like more... I don't know which like seasoned themed stuff in my classroom and so this would be probably fine I'm sure um, we can always be thankful for things and then oh these are actually gonna be really helpful I always write my kids like a thankful note and these are already made and they're like nice quality so that's actually really nice um, and you just put their kids name and then um, like why you're thankful and then sincerely from you this would actually be really helpful I'm gonna use these for sure this year and then I don't have to print them out so that's nice I can get started on those um, and then this uh, I'll have to open that up let me see what it is and then this is a class grateful and thankful list actually this is a really good idea I like that. I'm going to put that up too. Let me open this. Um, it looks like a poster of some sort. Let me open it and see. I'm going to set you inside the box. Oh, okay. It's just a um, little poster. It says we are grateful and thankful for our friends and classmates. That's super cute. I'll have to like flatten that out so I can hang it up. So, and it's um, like laminated kind of, not not really laminated, but it's like plastic, so it's not like just like a poster. So, great angle, wow. Um, anyway, that was a pretty good box. I'm excited to see, um, actually, I'm excited to see what they do for Christmas because I love Christmas and the November's box should be like a Christmassy type theme box, I would imagine, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to use this stuff with my kids. Um, so anyway, I will have everything linked down below. It's just reallygoodstuff.com um, And then you can find the subscription box on there And then like I said if you use I think the code is box five and you can get your first box for five dollars Like I said, I don't get any like kickback from that or anything I just saw it on their Instagram and I thought that was a good deal. So I figured I would share it with you guys when I shared my um, October box, so I'm gonna head to school um, there was something I was gonna say. Oh, I stayed up way too late last night. I literally stayed up till midnight, which I never ever do. I go to bed at 10 o'clock every night, like on the dot, and the new Mario Party game came out yesterday, and we played it until midnight, because it didn't actually release until 9 p.m. because we live in Pacific Standard Time, and it came out at like midnight Eastern Time, so we got to play it at nine. So we played it um, up until like midnight, so. I don't know why I did that. It was not very smart, but it was so much fun. It's like we, both of us played that game like growing up, or not necessarily growing up, but like when we first met, we would play that game like all the time. And it was just so much fun. We played on the Wii. So it just brings back memories. It's just such a fun game. So anyway, hi, Axie Briggsy. Good little Axel update. Hi. Oh, this new camera makes you look really pretty. Hi, how was your breakfast? <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. All right, I'm gonna go to school. I need to actually have work to do this morning because family fun night was yesterday and it was actually uh, like super, super fun night, but I, pop socket, stuck to my hand. Why is pop socket right there? Um, I have my literacy centers that I need to check from yesterday because I told them the top six um, like packets or kids, whatever you want to say, um, would get to go to Makerspace today. And I have not checked them yet, so I need to do that this morning. Hopefully I have time. It is 7.10, so I need to like seriously head to school. Um, I'm running late this morning. Go figure. So anyway, I'm going to go to school. I'll catch up with you guys after school today sometime. Okay, so I'm trying to like speed get ready. It's 4.15. I just got out of my meeting and my brother's on his way here because I was supposed to be home at like 4.30 and I'm not home. So he's just going to come here to meet me. And then we'll just go like back to my house together because he's coming with me tonight over to my friend's house. Um, but I'm trying to like speed get some stuff done. I'm gonna have to probably do some stuff this weekend because I'm definitely not ready for Monday. But I'm trying to figure out what would be like the most bang for my buck in this moment because I don't have a lot of time. Um, so I don't know. I am trying to find some ELD resources right now for my groups to use. Um, just some stuff I can like, uh, like stories I can print off and use with them. Um, and then uh, I think, or I just finished doing my win group, which is my ELA group. 
they're going to be working on an, two different articles this week or next week comparing and contrasting them um and then i got them off of readworks so um so yeah that's where i'm at right now i met with my team about we had our plc which we do every friday and we met about uh some of the math and some of the like reading stuff coming up so i think i'm at like a pretty good place now hopefully with math i was like very like frazzled with math this week i just didn't know like know where to go because i have so many like little gaps i need to fill in um before the test that they have to their benchmark that they need to take which is next not this coming week but the week after so i have like one more week and then next week i do have like pe we have um like a whole school like rally type thing for colleges and we have a writing benchmark next week so we have a lot going on next week but it shouldn't be like that bad so anyway i for eld i've been i think i've said this but i've been like doing um so she'll let me make a picture and we talk about what's going on in the picture. So we use these little story cards from the actual like wonders curriculum. And just a second, my brother's calling me. Okay, so these are like cards and there's four of them and they tell a story. But what I've been doing is we've been talking about like just what we see in the pictures. So we just go into detail of like a lot of vocabulary and then we make up a story that goes along with it. And then what do we do after that? um that usually lasts us like two or three days like just talking about what there's four cards so we talk about everything that we see in the pictures like all the little details and then we like i said we make up a story that goes along with it and then we actually read the story and then we'll like map the story out so we will do like character setting events and talk about what's going on in the story and it seems to be like, working like super well um I really really like it but I also want to pull in like a little bit more reading with them because they're not actually reading anything on that so because they're all like right around the same reading level which is really nice to have all in one group rather than the kids being so like uh spread out so I'm gonna come up or I'm gonna print off some uh resources to use next week I've really been enjoying that though like if you teach an ELG group it's so use or like so powerful just to sit there and like talk about things that they see and get them using this vocabulary words uh I was doing something one day and I realized um um, uh, one of the kids like didn't know what the word skirt meant and they thought it was like the thing that goes around your neck and it was such a good teachable moment and like those moments I feel like are so powerful to you know do with your kids so if you teach ELD groups like that's a really really great super quick easy like just way to work with your kids and it doesn't take much effort because you're literally like they're leading the entire lesson which is pretty cool so anyway i'm going to be doing a live on sunday at 3 p.m pacific time uh i don't know exactly i'm planning to like a q a if nobody comes on then i'll just end it i don't know if anyone's gonna come on but i figured i'd try it out and see and then see if that's something like i'd want to do in the future so three o'clock pacific time um so if you're interested and then i think the video like goes on the, your channel afterward i could be wrong but i don't know i think so so if you're interested make sure to check that out i'm gonna go though because i do have work to get done and i need to leave so i'm gonna go i'll quickly show you my outfit which i'm just wearing these bubble bear earrings from target again they're so cute um a little flannel and then my coffee and kindness shirt and then i just have on some black pants and my well that was like a gymnastics move right there and my white pants so i will see you guys on monday i hope everyone has a good weekend and i will catch you guys later